AI is one of the fastest growing industries on the planet and crypto is primed to benefit massively from the expansion of AI, more so than I think anyone expects. In this video, I lay out my case on why I think AI will skyrocket the usage and adoption of crypto, but not in the way most people expect. Also, I'll go through nine of the biggest AI crypto protocols and share my thoughts on which ones I think have a shot at succeeding next bull market and which ones are likely to fail. First things first, you need to understand how truly game-changing AI actually is. Despite all the hype you may have seen about AI over the last year, I legitimately believe that AI is currently under-hyped for how game-changing it actually is going to be. AI is primed to literally reshape the fabric of society. And I believe over the next 10 years, the world is going to change more than it has in the last 10,000 years. It will be dizzying. And to be honest, it also could be extremely destructive. Humans are used to change happening slowly over time. Rapid change, like what's coming, could turn the world upside down. And all of this has to do with something called the J-curve of technological innovation. This is what it looks like, and I believe we're right here at this point in the curve. And you can see how rapidly things are set to shift and change from here. And I say all this to emphasize how difficult it legitimately is to fathom how much change will happen and how rapidly it'll hit. A year ago, when I would use AI to generate images, it looked like abstract art. No matter how many prompts I did or how hard I tried, the AI could never generate anything that closely resembled a face. Fast forward just six months, and the AI was able to generate images that were indistinguishable from a real photo. Fast forward another six months, and now AI is generating videos on its own. That's insane, and if you think it's going to stop here, then you're crazy. And in my opinion, here are some of the insane things that are going to happen over the next five to 10 years. In the next five to 10 years, you're going to be able to generate shows and movies on demand. For example, let's say that you're a fan of The Office and you're really sad that the show's over. You'll be able to prompt an AI and say, hey, generate a new season of The Office. And that AI will be able to generate a season of The Office that looks feels and sounds like The Office that has the exact same actors, the exact same characters, and is indistinguishable from the actual show. On top of being able to generate your own shows, you're gonna be able to generate your own movies. You'll be able to ask an AI to generate a movie similar to Braveheart, but based in ancient Japan, based on a true story. And the AI will be able to generate that movie and it'll look like a Hollywood blockbuster movie. I know some of you guys are not believing this is possible, but I'm telling you, we're already getting close. It's insane. And we'll see these same kind of things happen in music likely much quicker. You won't have to wait for the next Taylor Swift album to drop. You'll be able to generate one with just a few clicks. Or maybe you wanna hear what a Taylor Swift rap album would sound like. Well, you'll be able to generate that with just a few clicks. And it won't just be musicians. Every public figure will have different music created around them. People are gonna wonder, what would a Trump rap album sound like? An AI will be able to generate one with the voice of Trump doing the rapping. Or what about a Mr. Beast country album? The AI will be able to generate that in minutes. If this all sounds impossible, remember that just back in the year 2000, this is what phones look like. The iPod hadn't even been invented and everyone still listened to CDs. There was no such thing as Netflix or streaming. In fact, you went and got your movies from a place called Blockbuster. There was no Facebook or social media and this is what the internet looked like. Things are changing faster and faster. And AI will be much more than just music, videos, and art. AI agents are gonna do all sorts of things for you, including filing your taxes and planning your next vacation. There are businesses today that require hundreds of employees that will be replaced in the future by one person and their AI agents. In fact, that's likely one of the biggest single disruptors looming around a lot of these large companies is that one person with AI agents is far more efficient than a hundred person or a thousand person company. A side benefit of all this is gonna mean that goods and services are gonna be a lot cheaper in the future as, you know, obviously a company that doesn't have a ton of overhead and require hundreds of employees can charge a lot less for their products. Everyone from doctors to teachers to busy moms is going to have some sort of AI assistant that augments their ability to do their everyday tasks. And then there's the inevitable AI scams that will come that will be absolutely insane. Imagine your dad getting a call from you in your voice but it's not really you. Imagine seeing a friend online on vacation recommending some new product, 
but it's not a real video of your friend. Imagine seeing a video on Twitter circulating showing the president doing something compromising right before re-election and nobody can tell if it's real or fake. Imagine you're in court and the judge pulls up surveillance video of you committing a crime that you never actually committed. You plead not guilty, but the jury sees the video and they're not so sure. You get the overall idea, AI has the potential to cause absolute chaos. Okay, now that you understand how absolutely insane AI has the potential to be, how does crypto fit into all this? Well, crypto has the potential to fix some of these really bad issues and provide a better infrastructure for AI to transact on top of. In fact, many people believe that crypto will inevitably become the financial rails for AI agents. For example, with AI agents, how will they pay each other? You might say they're gonna pay each other with a bank account like any normal person does. But how does an AI open a bank account? Our system certainly isn't set up for it today, and I'd imagine that's something that would take a long time to get set up. Crypto, however, can already easily be used by AI as its internet native and digital money. Let me give you an example of what I mean because I know this sounds weird and it's probably kind of an odd concept to think about. Imagine you hire an AI to plan a vacation with you and your brothers, and you also want this AI to like design some sort of cool hoodie to commemorate this vacation because you haven't seen your brothers in like a year, you all live in different parts of the country, this is your like, once a year brother's trip and you want this like sweet hoodie that you know kind of commemorates it so you ask the ai to plan the trip to buy the plane tickets to book the hotel to book the rental car to plan experiences and an itinerary and to hire a designer and get this hoodie design printed and shipped to your front door and after giving your ai agent the information it needs it goes and gets to work and let's say that you've given your ai agent a budget of two thousand dollars and approved access to a smart account with stable coins specifically set aside for this trip well obviously it'd be pretty easy for the ai to pay the airline to pay the rent car and to pay the hotel that's not like a really big issue but let's say that your ai isn't specialized at designing hoodies and doing that whole process so your ai hires another ai agent who is specialized in those things how does one ai pay another ai ais are going to need to interact with each other and there's going to be specialized ais that are built for a specific purpose and obviously like we said an ai cannot have a bank account but it can really easily hold crypto in its own wallet in fact literally today an ai could transact across all of crypto with little to no effort. It can take out a loan, earn interest in yield accounts, make swaps, all without needing any sort of traditional account whatsoever. So your AI needs to hire this other AI agent to design the hoodie and then, you know, process it and ship it. So your AI opens a smart contract with the other AI, depositing the funds needed to pay for this service into the contract. Part of the funds are held until the service is complete, but as a part of the contract, a portion of those funds are released so that the other AI could actually use those funds to buy the needed materials and supplies to actually make the hoodies. When the service is complete and verified, the other part of the funds are released from the smart contract to the second AI who deposits it in their own wallet. All of this is trustless and fully automated. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Crypto is an open financial system for AI to transact upon. Yet there are many other interesting use cases as well. For example, the concept of open source AI models built entirely on chain. While I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of different private companies that have their own AI models, I'm also sure there's gonna be some sort of global open source AI, something that no private company, government, etc., controls. And theoretically, given the massive amount of developers that can contribute work toward this model, it could end up becoming the most powerful model on the planet. Crypto is a coordination technology and it could create some powerful incentives to bring funding to this model and pull more developers to you know start working on it. And the model went sufficiently advanced enough could coordinate everything it needed on its own, incentivizing users and companies via payments to access whatever data sets it was needing to access. It could use services on chain like Akash or more to access GPUs to give itself more compute power. It could even build out its own profit centers and become self-sustaining. Just like the internet is this giant growing network of information that doesn't really need any one single person or company to contribute to it for it to continue growing, I think an open AI could also become sufficiently self-sustaining. And I'm just explaining what I think will happen, my opinion on it is I actually think that's a pretty terrifying idea. And I honestly don't see how that scenario ends well long term for humanity. But at the same time, I'm also not sure how you stop it as 
this kind of concept is already in its early stages of being developed. Another intersection of crypto and AI is on-chain governance. One of the biggest bottlenecks for crypto is that it still requires people to upgrade the code and different things like that. And that's led to all these difficult like alignment and governance problems that people are trying to solve, but it's it's really difficult to solve. AI though could potentially fix some of, or maybe even all of these different issues. And earlier I mentioned the potential for all these massive scams with AI. Well, crypto could potentially provide the solution for this. Blockchains could provide things like on-chain identity and verification of authenticity. Basically meaning it could provide the ability for you to know that a thing, authentically originated from the place it was supposed to have originated from. And all these things are just some of the ways that crypto and AI are primed to intersect. And hopefully this shows you some of the real potential and it gives you an idea of how to properly position yourself in this sector come next bull run. Okay, now that we understand it, let's take a look at some of the top AI projects. Number one is Ocean. Ocean is a data play. I mentioned earlier that data is being hailed as the new oil in the AI economy. And AI is only as good as the data sets it's trained on. So getting access to high quality data is really, really important. Enter Ocean. They're a decentralized market to publish, discover, and consume data. It's a really neat idea, but personally, I think it has a few issues. The biggest one being that hardly anyone seems to actually be contributing valuable data to the website. So while the concept is neat and it's a great narrative, the underlying use case doesn't seem to have much traction. And at a market cap of over $400 million, it's also already pretty big. I think based on the AI narrative, maybe it could do well, but personally for this one, I'll be skipping it. Next up is SingularityNet. And this is how they describe themselves. SingularityNet is the world's leading decentralized AI marketplace running on blockchain. Our core mission is the development of artificial general intelligence, AGI, for a beneficial technological singularity. They use a lot of vague language and a lot of buzzwords on the site, and they don't seem to go into much detail about what they actually do. Scrolling down more though, I can see they have a library of what they call AI algorithms, which doesn't seem to be used that much. The market cap for Singularity Net is 205 million, and honestly, at that high of a market cap and with very little to show for their five years of work, so far, this one is another one I'll be staying away from. After that is BitTensor. BitTensor seems to be very similar to the earlier concept I talked about where I explained how entire open source AI models could theoretically be built on chain using various incentives to attract developers to build out the model. The network enables anyone to contribute to the foundational models and monetize their contributions. Think of this platform as something like Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. Billions of videos are uploaded to these platforms from users all over the world. And those creators, were they uploading to maybe their own personal site, would struggle to get the same sort of traction they're getting on these platforms. And those platforms, if they had to create all the content that actually went on their platforms, likely wouldn't be able to generate even a fraction of their current viewership that they get from user generated content. So working together, the creators and the platform are able to build something bigger and better than they ever could do apart. That same concept but with AI development is what BitTensor seems to be going for. The market cap is around $200 million. And honestly, I would 100% buy this one if I could. Right now, the only place that you can actually go buy this token though is on non-US sites. So unfortunately, I can't access it currently. After that is Fetch. Fetch, it seems, is another site for maybe AI apps and services. Although it kind of depends where you're looking. Another place on the site references uh, Fetch as the first open network for AI agents. Honestly, though, looking over the site and over the details, it's a bit messy and pretty confusing to me. The market cap for this project is 166 million, but personally, I can't tell if they're just chasing a narrative to make some money, or if they're a genuinely experienced team in their early stages of development. My takeaway is that their site and the demo video that they show on their site kind of give me sort of like Fiverr vibes. And usually when I get Fiverr vibes in the crypto space, it's usually a project that I personally stay away from. So for this one, I'll pass for now, but maybe take a look at in the future. After that is Numari. Numari describes itself as the hardest data science tournament in the world. And to me, it seems very similar to something like Syndicator where they're trying to use AI to predict the market. But in this case, Numari is trying to predict the traditional stock market. So far, their flagship product seems to be averaging about 19% annually, which is impressive for a hedge fund. From what I can tell though, the fund is restricted to just institutional investors, which kind of sucks. Their token is used for governance and for those who want to participate in the Numari tournament, they have to take their tokens and stake a certain amount of them in order to actually be able to make the predictions and potentially get prizes awarded to them. For me, it's an interesting idea and I'd certainly be more interested if the market cap was lower, but currently sitting at 178 million, 
I will pass on this one. After that is Aletheia. And this one again feels to me like a project that was pumped out for a narrative, but without any sort of interesting innovation. And just like Fetch, the site does give me, you know, those Fiverr vibes. And with the token being at 144 million in market cap, I think I will pass on this one as well. After that is Syndicator. And a while back, I did a video where I asked an AI what the top five cryptos to 100X next bull run would be. And one of those was the CND token or the Syndicator token. If you want to check out the video, I go way more in depth on Syndicator and how it works. It's kind of similar, like I said, to Numari, but with some pretty major differences. But basically it's an AI that predicts market movements and has been around since 2015 with a really decent track record over time. The biggest reason I ended up buying this token though is is that the market cap for this token is just $2 million. And that means it would only need to hit $200 million in market cap to 100X. And as we've seen, the bar is extremely low for AI projects that hit $200 million in market cap. Almost every project we've talked about in this video so far is pretty close to 200 million in market cap and half of them look like they've been built on Fiverr. After that is Akash. Akash is personally one of my favorite projects. It's part of the Dpin sector of crypto and Dpin stands for decentralized physical infrastructure. Again, this is another one where I've made an entire video about it if you wanna go check it out. There's, I go way more in depth in that video. So if you wanna know more details about Akash, you can check out that video. Last up, of course, would be ETH. And although ETH isn't directly an AI token, seeing as most of these things are built on top of ETH, and if AI does use crypto as its financial rails, it would make sense that ETH could end up seeing some decent upside. As always, if this video is helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you have anything that I missed, let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it if you wanna be notified each time I release a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.